when you're first talking about doing a massive multiplayer game um, for Bioware, uh, really the vision of what that game would be was to bring storytelling, Bioware storytelling, to the MMO space. Star Wars, you know, you, I know I associate it very much with the incredible legacy of storytelling. It's like the myths of our age. You know, people are still very familiar. Little kids know the story of Star Wars. They know all these, all these elements. In the 30 years of Star Wars, we have developed countless stories across the movies, the TV shows, and the films, and the video games. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. Bioware has a really strong background in developing strong characters and story, and so, um, you know, from the get-go, I think it was a really great collaboration between the two companies. And from our perspective, I think we gave Bioware a, a lot of latitude to kind of flesh out this universe. With the older public, we're trying to capture those iconic moments from the movies. It's a huge thrill to be able to develop a game set in the Star Wars universe, much as we did with Knights of the Old Republic. The way we approach this is with reverence and respect. The Old Republic takes place 3,000 years before the rise of Darth Vader and the events of the modern movies, and about 300 years after the original Knights of the Old Republic. The Sith Empire has returned. There was a giant invasion. There was a war that lasted for decades that ended in a very shaky peace treaty. These are the events you get to see during the cinematics pieces. Now it's been a little bit more than a decade, and a new generation is coming up, and they're seeing that the piece is obviously not going to hold. And these new people, who the players are going to be taking care of, these are the next generation of heroes. It's a time period where there are uh, thousands of Jedi and thousands of Sith and they're, they're fighting in a, in a huge galactic war. There's still the traditional hallmarks of Star Wars storytelling. There's, there's, there's epic heroes and there's great adventures and there's lots of choice, impactful choice that you'll make throughout your, throughout your adventure. We really felt that in order to do powerful Bioware style storytelling, we had it to be personal and about the player. And the best way to do that was to have the story based around the class choice you made at the beginning. Are you going to be a bounty hunter? Are you going to be a Sith warrior? Are you going to be a Jedi Knight? You should have a completely different story, depending upon that. As we've gone through various builds and betas is I miss, I miss characters that I've rolled and I'm very disappointed that they're gone, <laughs> you know, and, and I want to be able to play them again. It's not just the story, the entertainment value, it, 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 it's really an attachment to the character is what that story leads to. Wow, we're really meeting Mandalore. Oh, this is going to be incredible. LucasArts has, has provided a great deal of the, the voiceover work, the music work, the sound effects work, and that's been an absolutely awesome experience. Of course, there's a, a great deal of VO in this game. Being able to breathe life into these stories that Bioware has written with, with you know, really talented actors and really talented voice directors has been, has been a thrill. Criticism, capture and imprisonment are inefficient procedures, Master. Consider adopting an all-disintegrations policy. There are many different relationships in the older public. On the one hand, you can have companion characters, and you can develop friendships, dislike, and everything in between with them as you adventure together. Moreover, you play with other people in this MMO. It's a social experience. You develop friendships online as you adventure together through a galaxy that's set thousands of years before the Star Wars movies. I lose sight of the mechanical aspect of it, which to me is the perfect thing for an RPG. I'll lose myself in the stories, I'll lose myself in what's going on. I always find myself wanting to explore our enormous worlds and wander over a ridge and see how to get to the next new area. Epic is a word that's so overused, but honestly, it just applies so well to Star Wars The Old Republic. It's so big, like the moment you actually get your ship, there's these, there's these sort of key beats in the game that have an incredible impact, like you, you walk into this hangar and you see your ship and the music's playing and, you, and it's yours. And then you go to the galaxy map and you go, wow. And then, then you start seeing all these familiar environments that you remember from the, the, you know, the movies and you're like, I'm here. We want to make sure every time you go to a planet um, that you're getting kind of a new experience. You know, from the art side, that was always something that if, if you'll hear me talk about uh, color being important, right, is I think that's something that, that is very evocative for a player is just that initial burst is that you're getting a new sense of, of color. You know, the audio guys come in with sound, right? So those things that speak to you at, at a more emotional level, a deeper level, are things that we, we try to hit very first off. 
We started out with uh, Corbin was our first world that we developed and we, wor we worked hard to develop the look and feel of the game and how we wanted the art style not to look old after a while. So we kind of came up with this kind of stylized realism. Each piece of these worlds has been handcrafted. Every corner you go around has something new and interesting and something different. Star Wars Little Public is, it has come together amazingly well. I've been surprised multiple times over the course of the project. Um, one of the biggest things was just how cinematic the game has become. I've played all the different classes. There really aren't any, any bad choices. I think people will probably gravitate towards some of their favorites, but um, I think they would be doing themselves a disservice if they didn't really branch out and create some other different character types and really get a, get a sense of what this um, universe has to offer. I hope when the game comes out and it starts to grow, we bring in people who haven't traditionally been fans of the MMOs, as well as the hardcore MMO fans. The people come in who love Star Wars, who love role-playing games, who just love the idea of being out there and having this great big adventure, and they say, hey, I can get into this, I understand this, I always wanted to have my own Star Wars trilogy, and now I do. I think the gamers will be excited about uh, this being personal stories. Uh, because of the, the way the game works, you can make choices. You can go light side or dark side. There is no black and white in, in, with Jedi and Sith in this era. The fans have been an essential part of making this game possible. They're really, really dynamic and active in the community. Um, our fans are our best ambassadors. If they love the game, I mean, they can bring their friends in. I mean, so we have a real, put a real importance on the relationship with them. In you know, Star Wars The Little Republic, we want to have world-class service as well as a world-class game. Not only are you going to be exploring dozens of different worlds and starships and environments in the game, but you're also going to be doing it with hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of other people at the same time in one world. I think it's that kind of community and that kind of mass that really brings the vision of the movies to life. The thing I've been waiting for the most in producing this game is just to finally be able to give this gift to the Star Wars community, this game, which I think is going to be very well received to all the Star Wars fans out there. And I'm a big Star Wars fan. I think this is their ultimate game. They get to live in the Star Wars universe and experience any story that they want. And it's something that, I think it's the Star Wars game players have been waiting for since they were little kids. The shipped content is only the beginning. As soon as you get in there and we go live, very soon you guys will get to hear about the new cool stuff coming just a little while after.